this Blizzard story gets more and more crazy day by day. And it's to the point where I feel like I have to say something about it just to let everybody know where we stand and I suppose spread the word and a lot of the good work that's been done in order to expose Blizzard's BS in trying to sweep this under the rug. So if you don't know, the state of California has been doing a two-year investigation on Blizzard, what they call a result of a frat boy culture where there's kind of a old boys club that run things at the top and are effectively allowed to do whatever they want without repercussions from the company. And that's been going on for like over a decade. Along with that comes a host of claims against them, like a dozen things as small as pay disparities and as severe as outright sexual harassment, sexual assault, and a worker committed suicide based on it. This it's, it's horrible and overwhelming. and. It's so much and each and every day it gets worse somehow. Blizzard responded immediately like you might assume them to deny, deny, deny as harsh as they can from Jalen Brack and other representatives. And then more stuff comes out, a overpouring a wave of independent ex-employees or people who are involved saying, no, this stuff does have some credibility to it, at least to some degree or if not entirely. It's hard to feel like you have any impact in this, luckily it's in the authorities' hands and it seems like there's finally the right momentum in order to give these voices, <laughs> it's it's so ironic to, to say the words that are about to come out of my mouth. They're supposed to believe that every voice matters, but apparently at Blizzard for the past decade or more, certain voices were weighed much higher than others, especially if you were a World of Warcraft developer, making the company lots of money, having friends with the, uh, or being friends with the rest of the developer, developer team. It, it's saddening, it really is. I'm only really getting into the tip of the iceberg here in case for some reason you didn't see the hundreds of other videos that I've seen all over my news feeds explaining this. If you're not familiar, you can go more in depth with sources like Bellular News, who's a World of Warcraft creator, as well as uh, industry news commentator, oftentimes covering Blizzard stories, this one being the craziest. He's done a really good job kind of collecting the information and as well, kind of giving an insider's look with his connections to give context to some of the claims. So on the top level, there is the lawsuit that's public for anybody to view, but then when you start digging into your network, especially if you're like a creator or you know a lot of these devs or know former devs or whatever, like the stories just keep coming out and there's more and more coverage on this, making an overwhelming amount of smoke. That's the issue that I wanna point out. And I'm sure some of you, if you, especially if you haven't heard this story before, may be thinking, well, if these are just claims, then surely Blizzard deserves their day in court. And that's most definitely true. Accusations alone aren't good enough, but unfortunately, when there's this much smoke, overwhelming amount of smoke, you gotta assume there's some fire somewhere at some point, right? It's like we're gagging from all the smoke that keeps coming up. More evidence, more articles, more accusations and, and, and firsthand reports claiming that these things are true. It's like at least a big chunk of this did happen. And what's even perhaps more sad to acknowledge is that it's not always the act, it's the cover up, right? And a lot of devs that you might find to be heroes, I find to be heroes of mine, may have known about this all along and maybe even participated in it. It seems like there's one key World of Warcraft developer that keeps getting named in this, at the moment, but I think we should brace for impact. Those who tried to speak out got either silenced or directly fired. So if you know you're gonna be in trouble, how are you gonna feel like you can speak out against them and they're just hopeless and everybody involved in this seems to just know. It's like the most open secret because so many have come out saying that, yeah, this is the case, this happened to me, everybody knows this. It, it doesn't even seem like a disputable point is, is where I'm coming from, that this needed changing long ago. And it's one thing for there to be a group of bad apples that are causing problems. It's another thing when the leadership harbors them and enables them, it's horrible. And uh, it's, it's painful, it's ironic that supposedly the most progressive company is doing some of the most unprogressive things. And it's, it's just horrible that it's come to this point and Blizzard has a consistent streak of sweeping things under the rug and in the worst possible way in this instance. 
so at, at some point uh, in this video, I wanted to talk about like, what can we even do about this? How should we feel? That's what I've been tossing around in my own head for these past few days as this news rolls in and I, I'm just preparing for the worst for a hero of mine to be named as someone who's been involved with this stuff in a heavy way because it, it, it really beggars belief the statements that have come out distancing themselves from this culture as if they had no idea any of this was going on. I don't believe that for a second, unfortunately. And that can be quite damaging when you start to think about how many of those original WoW devs spread out into the company to do other things and how many of them are marred with this. It makes you think like, is the Overwatch team in any way involved with this? Well, at this point, I wanted to explain that I, I think from my experiences with the current Overwatch team, that they're not like this, especially like there's there's a lot of great devs that I've got a chance to speak to myself that they don't give the frat boy vibe, okay? they It's when someone has that almost uh, just pure basic human enjoyment where they're not trying to exploit you necessarily, but just enjoy your company, it's difficult to fake that right? If you're a frat boy type, you kind of live with that energy outwardly towards everybody. And you say things like has been claimed in this case, don't you know who I am? I built World of Warcraft or whatever. It takes a certain kind of personality for a sentence like that to come out of their mouth. Whereas in my experience, some of the key developers right now that, that are working on Overwatch, like Aaron Culler, Jeff Goodman, Scott Mercer, despite my own personal disagreements about how they're handling the game or whatnot, they've always been really humble, really down to earth. And I just can't see them engaging with this type of behavior, which, um, and, and there's more devs than that, but those are the ones that, that first come to mind. I think the thing that I just want everyone to remember is that Blizzard is a big company and it's unfair to mark all of them, many of them who were victims of this, especially the women, with the same brush. When it was a few bad apples that were being protected by upper management. It's not really, I don't find it fair for me to just judge the whole company as uh, a certain way when there's a lot of employees there that are doing great work, following their life's passion and, and just being good people. Every time, I've met so many of them that are just so heartwarming and generous. And uh, um, it sucks that this very insular, elitist mentality among a certain subset of the development team at Blizzard was essentially allowed to have free reign to, to let those childish accent actions uh, propagate for the last decade and a half or whatever. So with that being said, if you were overwhelmed by the news coming out, I could definitely understand that maybe it's time to stop supporting Blizzard games. I just, I wanted to get ahead of it and explain that I'll still be supporting Overwatch because I don't believe yet, at least, that it's tainted with this same brush that seemed to be more of like a World of Warcraft or Treyarch, Activision side thing. There's, there's It's complicated. There's a lot of uh, moving parts with it, but I don't think the Overwatch team necessarily was, but also I love the game and I enjoy playing it. So I asked myself, should I stop enjoying it because some members of the company did some things that are horrible. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Um, subject to change, of course, if, if news comes out that uh, really makes my jaw hit the floor, I might have to reconsider that position. But um, I thought it was important to come out with this video to explain where I stand, explain how heartbroken I am to hear this news, hear a company that was supposed to be a flagship of all these good virtues. It just seems like there has been a facade over this company for years and years and years, and we've just been peeling it back bit by bit. And before you know it, we just rip the bandaid off and all of a sudden it's revealed to just be this hideous thing that it just shares no resemblance to the core values we thought they had, unfortunately. Uh, I don't think it's that black and white, because uh, like I said, I think there's a lot of good eggs there. It's just that it's, it's tough to stand up and say your company uh, aspires for these virtues when you're letting um, bad apples run amok, but I think there's a chance for that to be rectified, for them to set things right and start moving things in the right direction. So uh, I'm hoping they're able to do that. And we hope to march towards Overwatch 2 and be part of what maybe can be a new culture surrounding Blizzard to actually 
holds the company and our communities accountable to the values that we think they should have. You know, like a lot of that frat boy World of Warcraft stuff applied back then when they made that game, but maybe we can be a part of aspiring to be the hopeful futuristic version of the world that is inclusive to all manners of people. Anybody can be a hero. The world can use more heroes. Maybe we can build towards that for the sequel. I certainly hope so. That's my hope at the moment, uh, bar some wacky more news that drops that makes me change that. But I'll leave linked in the description, some good resources to further follow up on this story. Hopefully soon we'll have some better news to discuss. Now, I wanted to clarify this somewhat misleading article from Kutaku, who made it seem like all of these Blizzard devs were worshiping the offender, Bill Cosby, as if they all were in some sort of cult of for abusing women. It's not that cut and dry. As I said, Bellular News did a much better job of any journalist that I've seen so far following up on this story, adding in context and asking reasonable questions like, well, what year was it when Bill Cosby was publicly known to be an offender? And I just wanted to quickly explain, prior to everyone knowing, Bill Cosby was more famous for The Cosby Show, being not just a comedian who was friendly and family friendly, but being like the Brady Bunch level of safe, conservative values. He didn't just have lighthearted humor about family stuff. His entire act and stage presence and everything he was known for was for being a father figure, which makes it even more devastating when you find out what he was doing all those years. Prior to all that information coming out about Cosby, it is completely reasonable to associate Cosby with his sweaters and being a square or a dork, and especially for Gen Xers or millennials who did live back then to grow up with Cosby, there was nothing evil or sinister about it. Bellular News wonders, did some people know about the accusations? And I guess if you were like in Hollywood or something, a comedian like Hannibal Burris knew about it, but an average normal person wouldn't. Now, would some of these devs from California know? There's a chance, but for the most part, most people thought of Bill Cosby as the dorky dad figure with silly sweaters. And by the way, I haven't been able to find this exactly, but I swear I've seen Jeff Kaplan in either like a Q&A with IGN or GameSpot or something like that talk about the famous carpeting in the Blizzard offices when they changed offices at Irvine. When they came in, there was this horrible carpeting and they called it Cosby or the Cosby room or Cosby flooring or, and it was a Blizzard in joke for years. So it began as a very mundane thing. Is there a chance that it molded and expanded to also include the abusive behavior? Possibly, but it definitely had humble beginnings. It's not like all these guys pointing to this picture of Cosby are worshiping him as deviance. It's not that simple. And as this has come out, some of these devs, especially like Greg Street or somebody who's now at Riot, have followed up and kind of fixed this. Like, if I knew Bill Cosby was a predator, I wouldn't have tweeted about it publicly. And that stands to reason, right? It's like, it's very important to remember Hannibal Burris's clip, joking at the expense of Bill Cosby, came out in 2014. So in 2013, it wasn't really a well-known thing. And even for those who did know, you wouldn't immediately think that. The first things you think of is family-friendly image and goofy sweaters. A lot of the general points I discussed still hold up. It's just this like egregious out in the open single point about the Cosby suite at BlizzCon is a bit inaccurate. I graduated university in 2012. Bill Cosby was the commencement address speaker Okay, how weird is that? He was so revered, they gave him an honorary degree and he gave a speech of all the graduates go off and do great things, right? Like that's the type of level Bill Cosby was at prior to 2014. His accusers were public. People knew about it, sort of, kind of. Kind of like they sort of knew this about Blizzard, right? It was like an open secret. But before it really reaches that breaking point where there's a huge impact, functionally nobody knows. And it's kind of the same way, right? Like with Blizzard, it was an open secret that they had some handsy devs that got away with whatever they wanted. But it's not like we knew that as consumers, right? You have to be in the know or work in the industry. Either way, this picture is a major yikes and did not age well.